Hi there, I'm Dave Van Ness, and today we're going to take you on a tour of Old Colorado City and show you why you should come and visit. Welcome to Old Colorado City, where history comes to life. This site was originally the firehouse and the jail was downstairs in the building. Let's go inside and hear some more about it. Hi, I'm Kim Walensky. And I'm Dave Walensky. And welcome to the Old Town Guest House. Dave and I are brother and sister, and we have owned the inn for two and a half years, and we are the third innkeepers. The, the original building that was here was the 1892 Second City Hall Jail and Firehouse for Colorado City, which is now Old Colorado City. And it burned down in 1990 after being many different retail stores, um, and then it was made into a parking lot. And in uh, to, uh, 1995, a couple bought the land and custom built this building with a lot of the look on the outside of it with the windows and um, the brick to look like the original building. And then after that, there's another couple that was here for seven years. And again, we've been here for two and a half. We feel like we're, because of our location, we are pretty much right in the heart of Old Colorado City. And uh, quite honestly, it's one of the major attractions when people uh, come to visit. It isn't just our location next to the mountains, but because people really like the idea of being able to uh, park the car here, enjoy the shops, enjoy the restaurants, uh, come home late in the evening, not having, not having to drive. Um, Old Colorado City has been very good to us and uh, we love the location. Business for us has been great. Um, the local businesses and, and ourselves all get together and do packages together with the restaurants, which is nice. Um, we just love uh, referring people to any of the shops in the area. We have a whole wall by our office of all the different brochures and information of all the different uh, organizations and businesses and restaurants here that people can um, go out and enjoy. Um, we are the only, um, not only bed and breakfast, but the only inn in Colorado Springs that has hot tubs. So um, that is uh, a way that people, when they're looking for romance and looking for hot tubs and looking for fireplaces or whatever, they come to us because get away from their kids. <laughs> get, escape their kids, which is a really big group of people that show up um, needing a break from little kids. Um, but we're number one on TripAdvisor of all small inns in El Paso County. Um, and that's a big reason for that is the size of our building. It just is spacious. There's eight rooms um, and the location because just out the front door within a half a block, you're within four blocks of, you know, 17 restaurants and retail stores and galleries and um, just all of these shops that give so much and people can just hang out and do what they want. All of the buildings, uh, rooms have a theme. Uh, this one is African Orchid. Uh, the original uh, owners traveled a great deal and uh, visited Africa quite often. In fact, you'll see photographs on the wall here. Uh, David uh, took those photos on uh, one of their safaris. This room uh, is Victoria Rose, and it's probably something that most people would consider to be what they would find in a bed and breakfast. Uh, we always kind of chuckle wondering if Victoria Rose used to work across the street. This was the uh, last stop of the uh, Midland Railway. Gentlemen were coming off the railroad uh, with gold in their pockets and there were eight brothels on this corner, which is one of the reasons the city hall and jail was built right here. Uh, the last of the brothels was truly a house and it's that uh, little gray roof you see before the green one. It was incorporated into that building when it became a uh, uh, elderly care facility in, in the 1960s. 
all the uh, furniture and the custom uh, and the headboards in the building were custom made. There are no two alike and you won't find them in any other building anywhere. They were specifically made for this building. This is our one small suite. It's called Indian Paintbrush. We have a twin bed here and the, uh, and the queen. There's, uh, the, all the rooms on this floor have uh, fireplaces and they have hot tubs. It's, it's been a great area, great businesses, great um, collaboration of businesses uh, in this area, and just very sweet to live on this side of town.